Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today is Bristol Rovers away. We haven't played Bristol Rovers in five years, so I'm really looking forward to this one. I haven't actually ticked off yet, so I'm, I'm actually interested to see what the stadium's like and what their fans are like. I've heard their fans are pretty decent, so I'm looking forward to it. Our fans, obviously, we're taking about 550 down there, I think it is. Well, we've sold that many anyways, but due to train strikes and everything, I don't think we'll take that many. But, um, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. If you do enjoy, leave a like, subscribe. Let's get down to Bristol, shall we? Come on. Prediction, mate. Mate, it's 3-1. 3-1. Jake, score prediction. 2-1. Uh, Smith double. Alright, oh, mate, oh, score prediction today. 4-1. Uh, yeah. Oh, I reckon. Mark, My score prediction, I'm gonna go for a good, I'm gonna go 2-1. You know? I think it's gonna be a lot of goals. 2-2, two, two. come on. Leo, mate, score prediction. I'm gonna go for a good Two goals from my inside and one from Deborah Lockadina. Probably the most interesting away end I've ever seen in history. What is this? What is this? It's like a ten. Another really good chance for Bristol. I think we've been let off there. He should be finishing it realistically. Bristol started a better team in his first half so far. We're about five minutes in, they're having the majority of the chances. Oh, it's not looking good. It's quite strange, I don't know how it's happened, I don't know what he's done, but he seems to be really hurt. At the moment, Mittal's all good. He's all good. Bristol started really well. I think this might be 1-0 here. I think they're going to get a goal. I think this might be a goal. There we go. It's 1-0. As I was saying, Brilliant atmosphere created from Bristol Rovers. There we have it, it's 1-0. I did say it was going to go in from the corner. It's a Bristol Rovers goal. It has been coming, they've been a better side this half at the moment. And uh, the Bristol fans do go mental over the other side. Um, really loud, really, really loud. They did deserve the goal. It's, it's a poor goal to be fair. Um, Bristol Rovers here, they are on the attack again. They're trying to come around. <laughs> Bristol claim for a penalty. Get around the referee. I think that might have been a handball. I think the referee's got that wrong. Every time we go forward, we just we look lost. And then every time we're at the back, we look lost. We're giving away stupid free kicks that will probably lead to another goal. Ooh, it's a good effort. Are you joking? Are you joking? Joey's put the ball in. That's got to be a red. What? He's given the pen. What's he doing? What is he doing? So the referee already blew his whistle prior to Ironside scoring. So we have to take the penalty. If Ironside misses this penalty now, I'm going to be fuming. I'm going to be fuming if he misses this.
atmosphere's improved, everything's improved. with a brilliant shot. I think the keeper saved it. It's either hit the post or the keeper saved it, but it's really turning up. Out! Go here, I reckon. Lones, Lones! Penalty claim for Bristol Rovers. Um, yeah, he's given it the other way. He's given a free kick and the booking for a dive. I didn't really see it to be honest, so I can't really say much about it. There we go, it's 2-1. Goal for Rovers. As soon as Cambridge stopped playing a little bit better, Bristol Rovers snatched a goal. It's 2-1 to the home team. Oh, I, thought we, I thought we had something good there. I thought we had something coming. I thought we had something brewing. But no, Rovers scored, it's 2-1. There's about five minutes left of this game. Bristol Rovers still winning 2-1. We're, put, we're getting the ball forward, but we're not. We, we keep passing it backwards when we get some chances. We just keep playing it back, but if we want to get a goal, we need to start playing it forward more. Yeah. But Jagger at the end of that, come over to us, me and Will personally, and, me. and Kieran, and you know what I mean? <laughs> he personally thanked us for our support, we asked him why we weren't playing and he had no fucking clue. <laughs> I think it's embarrassing that he didn't play it. And as much as say if we were hissing our way 10 years ago, it don't fucking matter now, we're in League One. We're getting oh, battered by Bristol Rovers, playing shit. Of the league. And the uh, bottom, the yeah, they're shit, mate. Uh, and Jalen coming over to us, he should be fucking playing. There was no uh, passion. There is no, no aggression. Passion. There was nothing. It was useless. And he got kicked out oh, look, by their useless students. <laughs> 45 minutes, what a right. game. Right. Like, and Josh really? Next year with like, us. Really? <laughs> I'm like, really, I'm undefeated. We're not in the league. I didn't see us lose. I didn't see us lose. I saw us draw. Leon, I'll take one point. Yeah, really. Alright guys, I want to thank you for watching this video. If you did enjoy, smash a like. Probably the worst performance of the season. The second half, definitely the worst second half that we have had. Um, Cambridge, just no effort going forward, no effort at all. Passing it sideways and backwards when there's five minutes to go, two minutes to go. There's nothing, we've got nothing going forward. Um, something needs to change and it needs to change now because if we keep going now as, as we are, we're going to end up near the bottom uh, come the end of the season. But anyways, enough of that. Bristol fans were class when they scored. 
You could hear them um, a little bit after they scored, uh, but when they scored, they weren't very loud. But uh, other than that, I don't think I heard them that much. Um, obviously, they were next to us as well. So, but uh, yeah, I just want to thank you guys for watching this video. If you did enjoy, smash a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. See you later.